For some time now, the Resistance has been tracking a VIP known for working with the aliens. And they finally narrowed the target to a quadrant in this area. They've asked us to move in and deal with this person once and for all. As always, we'll need to eliminate any hostile forces protecting the package to secure the area. Capture the target if possible. Use force if necessary. Greetings, hello, welcome back to more Long War of the Chosen. Going in for our second Liberation Free mission, as in the third part of the Liberation Chain this in Australia. Five, target location confirmed. Move to engage. Eliminate all hostile contacts. Let's see, we get eight faceless again on this mission. That was certainly a thing. Truppentarnung aktiv. Um, alright. Let's go some, some scouting around. What could possibly go wrong? Exactly. How close is that? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, yeah, I still think saboteur detection range feels like cheating. Although I always say saboteur, but it's, you know, a lot of, lot of, lot of classes. Um, <sighs> With the current equipment and stuff that's in the game, can get to that stage. This me just just secretly saying, don't don't know if it please. Um, I I have to refresh my memory here. Did I grab the thing where I do? I don't know. Can you hack, take damage, and lose the action, and hack effect, and it's Trojan, basically. Right. No, no, do, do break it, please. It's always tempting if you have a really high chance to control, that's then yeah. If you hack for control a drone, while you're still in concealment, the drone actually gets concealment. firing position line of play is oh, a fun right. mechanic the problem would have been um that drone will have probably been in line of line of sight of those guys and then immediately lost concealment and you know everybody loses concealment and there would have been um Roger. much rejoicing okay, okay, okay. i get it i get it we got a bunch of enemies here hmm. Should I stay? Stay or should I go now? No, I think you come down here. Or maybe here. Stepping off. I will get also as close as possible. That's just going. A lot of early enemies, but I think that's good. Gives us more room to maneuver later. So please, please come in my direction. Alright, that's gotta be an alloy grenade if I brought any. Yes. Can I launch it from here? I could. So I think, yeah, let's um, give a teamwork here. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Give a teamwork here. Because you're not moving. Everything myself. And then. Um, See how much we can do here. Seven two eleven of chance to crit for plus three. That you know, if we got really lucky, that wipes out the whole group. I will punish you. You never get lucky, next go. Is the Raptor Commando kind of considering doing his so I fly up and, and, and thingamabob and then he's like, oh no, actually I can just run to that tree. 
I think that was exactly his reasoning. Um, right. So we've got the free okay. move action here. I hear snaky sounds. Sedated sounds. Yeah, I think, I think, go in here and then pop, pop. And the rest of the group can take care of these guys. Oh, that, that triggered something new, okay. That's far, that's super far away. Especially the purifier. Probably want to move a little bit away from the. I, I also would like to get line of sight on them. Let's see. Let's see what we can do. Well, actually. How about we burial blade here? We use that so rarely. Turns this into a free action. That's right. Then I can move away from this guy a little bit. I can't get out of line of sight, so if for Shadowborn we want to be outside of his vision range, which we can't be, we might as well take some cover towards the new guys. Absolutely. By the numbers. Okay, and having done that, I no longer care about seeing these two. Because I don't have any long range shots anymore. Ah. I can just come here. Seeing them at all. So this drone will die at the start of the alien turn. So those those guys should not have any vision and just run blindly here. I speed low drag. Let's get you up there. We're going here, that's full cover, but that makes me visible fairly early, so I think I'd rather go a little bit a little bit further to the left. Give them less angle to work with. Did I miscount? That's unfortunate. But you know what? It didn't do damage. Oh, it's... The hack effect ends at the start of my turn. Whoa. In movimento. Vedo la posizione delle truppe Advent. Oh boy, there's also a bunch of guys up up, up top. Ah, we kinda need some crits some crits here, let's say.
Oh, you can only use your protocols on enemies in vision. So yeah, I think. Okay, let's let's see. Let's see what we get. Nemico neutralizzato. Okay, zero munizioni. Ci sono. Bersaglio nemico a terra. That new weapon, though. That new weapon. Position bestätigt. Right, so we can do a little bit of a look see what here. Possibly go wrong. Killed oh, eight. Please stay clustered. I don't think there's any way you can get a grenade. No, that's too far away. So let's just move up. Hopefully they won't also activate here. <laughs> Look how firing it grows. They did not. Okay. We are thought, but um, there's still kind of impaired here, movement-wise. Um, I think I'll take this engagement here now. Probably have to be able to get that. I have killed. Oh no, we'll fair you again. Now, unfortunately, they will not actually activate here. Oh, well, the other guy doesn't activate because nobody has line of sight to me anymore. So, um, oh, first things first. Bin auf dem Weg. You grab that loot. Ich hab es. And you just come up here, activate that guy. Uh, let's actually reconceal or fade here. These voice lines. Um, ah, because that way, this guy does not take my saboteur into account when looking for cover. It might take cover in a stupid position. Thanks for showing that off so nicely, Mr. Trooper Veteran. Well, that was actually quite oh, good. I mean, I can't just magic bullets back into my gun automatically. Well, that's dead. No, I'm uh, you know what? Do I have any consumables left? 10 to 12 enemy mission. It is what? Turn 3, turn 4? Like Everything's dead. On the move. That's oh, a yeah. strategy. Uh, what do we have here? Yep. Oh, superior PCS, small ally cache. We do have a hack tower over there. At the evac, let's take that one. Might have some time to do um, shenanigans with the laptop. Do I have a laptop? I think I brought a skulljack, and I don't have the upgrade yet for skulljacking anyway. Uh, where's the VIP? In here. Well, doesn't really matter. You do not. You don't need to hack the VIP. It's a kill the VIP thing, or rather capture. I'm not being the guy left behind. Activate that guy. Do we have Are you gonna to run? Let's see. Gonna run. I'm all over it. I will go to you. Corro! Do you? Status confirmed. Target package in custody. That'd be sad if we lost this equipment. Here's someone who's begging to be punched in the face. 
Cardio isn't one of my strong points, though. Rolling out. That's really glad that I brought you on the mission. You haven't missed a single shot. Tempo. So reliable. Were easy, everyone would do it. Um, I don't even think reinforcements are an issue, so let's just, just leave. Get out while you can. Willpower does not grow on trees. I hope you know what you're doing. Got it covered. All right. Did bring this, all right. So just hacking again, and the other one had a much better chance on the PCS. How are you looking for willpower? I think I'll just, you know, just, just let's just get the alloys, not get disappointed by PCS. And don't spend like five more time sift system infiltrating for a chance to then get like a another combat rush. Hey, you guy, hang on. This is Firebrand. VIP is secure. Heading out. Bestätigt. Oh. I was uh, three intense turns of combat. I'm also. Super surprised that those frost micro missiles do not do damage. I was about to, to curse my head off here after him being able to micro missile us there, but you know, if it's just a chill, just a freeze, that can still be devastating. It wasn't in this case. Ah. Yeah, that was pretty much pretty much the Christina show. That's really badly framed on my part here, yeah? the, the photo. I would like to assure the citizens of Advent that our peacekeepers will stop at nothing to prevent further attacks by criminal elements such as the one that occurred today. The elders have total faith in our ability to overcome any and all threats to our peace. Impressive work, Commander. The aliens are probably still wondering what hit them. Alright, we still got a superior perception piece, yes. Unfortunately, I think this is on the low end. So it ends up after we have the upgrade uh, plus 9, and you can get plus 11. You get it on data pad, 2 cores, which, yes, 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 to those pointed out, I'm not completely broke. I have a bunch of cores I can sell, and I should probably sell some more to get a lap up and just get more stuff done. Okay, I thought I had much fewer, fewer alloys. Um, but that's still fine. I still stand by the the um, decision to take the alloys on that one. Okay. Um, well, this will then immediately unlock the network tower. Which I think we also then immediately infiltrate. Setting course for Sector 2, Australia. Commander Tigan and Shen aren't going to be happy if we don't put the Skulljack to good use. We should have one of our soldiers equip it before they deploy. I also think you go there for sure. Um, Not sure if we need you there, but it's very likely that I'll bring Oops, Dina because I kind of like some grenades there. So who did we have last time? I think we had our Shredder, who now has still no close close combat stuff. 
Geneva Showdown. And I think assault. Yeah, we got the trench gun. So I think this was the squad we had last time on the um, network tower, and I still think that works very well. Alright, so let's see. Advanced Stimulator, Advanced Rocket Launcher. We now have some, some new toys here on the rockets department. Let's definitely bring, bring a Shredder Rocket. And we gotta get some, some armors for you guys. But, um, you want the... Let's take the scimitar that makes us poison immune. So if we launch a phosphorus rocket, we can then move into the poison cloud. Apparently we have no good shotguns available for you. Grapple the spider suit? No. Grab the grapple suit. Um, yeah, take the mech long rifle. Definitely need a better shotgun now. And I'm fairly certain 47 supplies. That might be a tall ask. Let's see, can we get another street sweep plus my trench gun? Actually, can. I already built two of those, and I have a mech shotgun somewhere. But they are still still relevant, even though they're technically outdated, right? They're still kind of relevant until we get plasma. Like actual plasma. A little bit low on the weapon attachment front here. Any fancy attachments for this thing? No. We could build something, but I also still think that's probably not worth it. We do have a bunch of AP, where I'm not sure if I checked on all of these soldiers yet. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Community promotion screen I saw uh, updated yesterday or so. So I probably have to go into your options to show me the other talents. It's like, wh why would you ever want to hide the later ranks? It's like, oh, you made a bad decision in your early ranks in the game because you didn't know what the late ranks were. Hmm, what a shame. Now you can't reverse it. Strategy game. No, this is, this is dumb. Uh, let me just go into your options and see. Ah, why would that default to... 
to hidden. Uh, community promotion screen. Um, works on unreached ranks. Sure. Yeah, we can still get the ability tree planner mode. Like, this didn't reset, but this is, I think, the new, new option, which... Yeah. Alright. Enough of me ranting about this. Commander, we'll need to have one of our troops equip the Skulljack for use in the field if we're going to make any progress towards our current objective. Okay. Let's take a look at uh, the server choices. Oh no, oh yeah, wanted nibble hands or, and or stationary threat. I'm not gonna spend XCOM AP that early, so we'll wait on that. You wanna get heavy hitters, so all those dots you do with salt, moon, deadly he, haste, tick for two damage. It's, it's very tempting now to pick up an early scrounger for more loot drops. I thought this was there's a chance. No, there will be one additional drop on a mission. I hope that actually works. Like this the thing is there is no way to actually test that, right? Um did I ever yeah. Hmm. I don't think I ever really decided what to go for here. Very low intelligence means 28, 35, 28 points, which probably means lock and load. You go for DFA and you go for thousands to go. You know, Hunter's Instincts also tempting. Sitting here, looking at Call for Fire as a tier 4 XCOM ability and just shaking my head. Alright, now this should be good enough. It's actually easier than the last Network Tower, although we do have a supply rate coming in in this region. <laughs> Sky Ranger deployed. In position for deployment. So yeah, I wanna, while we were sitting there um, with the Avenger, I guess we had a scanning site just, just complete. I don't even know. I don't remember. Um, it's been a few days. We also have this mission waiting for, for a squad. So let's do that then. What do we have over here? A facility lead we can't do, and a lip one we can't do. We've got a squad infiltrating there. So it's been a few days since I played, right? So I'm kind of re customizing myself with the Geoscape. We've got a squad here on the neutralized target. That's a dark event, right? Yeah. So kind of want to do this. I'm just wondering if I pick up this measly supply drop first to have some supplies to potentially build a new weapon um, if we need to 17 days from call guns let's actually wait for for the covert action to complete or rather instead of waiting let's do a quick black market trip Avenger plotting new course and I've been stingy about sending uh, selling Alien course, but maybe we should just sell a few more. Market is open. Get that lab going I was talking about. So 
you know, 12 cores. We do have basically after the um, network tower an HQ that we can do there, which should give us a few cores again. Which also gives us five data pads. We at this stage sell laser rifles because we are on coil weapons. Uh, I probably want to double check that those weapons do not have attachments. I still haven't figured out if, um, if we sell the stuff. If our attachments get um, removed first, or if they are just gone then. Okay, so this. Have a quick look at those laser rifles. Okay, now they are, they are without any attachments. thing is I didn't build super many rifles, right? I have like two mag rifles and two core rifles or something like that. So I might actually still get use out of the laser rifles, but I might also just get use out of 20 supplies. Okay, 337. Which I think we should definitely start building a lab here. Laboratory construction initiated. Okay, I like it. I'm not buying the Ilium Crystals, I think. If I buy those, then I have no money. Together, we have succeeded in our task. Our unified resistance continues to learn a great deal about To actually buy anything. Anyway. Slowly but steadily, our faith in your word grows, Commander. My followers and your people continue to grow in skill, and now the Resistance can take on more responsibility, should you need it. Our influence with the Resistance factions has motivated them to share some new information on the Chosen. Alright, bunch of things we can do here. Um, sea corpses might still be relevant, recover loot is always good. Um, we have still reduce avatar progress missions that we haven't done you can do i think one per campaign perfection uh, how's the progress anyway i think we're still fairly uh, fairly far away from having to worry about that yeah i think just just trying to get rid of the hunter super quick might be the play here who do we have who can we can send on this. So here's the problem. I, I kinda, especially on those longer missions, like having a tier 2 bond um, of soldiers. So currently we have Amy and Ellie in three days. So why don't we do a short COVID action? Like the five day one. Or day one, yes. Fairly decent ambush chance though. Because our only level 2 bond pair are the two guys there on the infiltration tool, the network tower right now. K 
Okay, since we have a reasonable ambush chance, I think I actually need to bring those two here again, because they have reasonable good combat chances if they get ambushed. So you get like... So at least one of you armored. Yeah, let's see, and we still have a laser rifle. Oh, there was a, a very good and interesting suggestion, which I can't actually follow up here. Uh, let me just... So I could totally, on our quartermaster, um, if I actually kept any underbarrel stuff, Give you an underbarrel flamethrower, and we can also just, just put some basic scope and maybe basic loader on your weapon. And then instead of the heater, which we're not using anyway, give you the underbarrel additional flamethrower tanks thing? No? Don't they go into the secondary weapon slot? I'm going crazy now. Do I have to build that? Just give the word and I'll get started, Commander. Um... And about grenade pack? Is there even an underbell an underbell flamethrower high capacity tank? Alright, let me just build one of each, yeah. I think one of them is like a um slotted into an extra equipment slot and one as can be put into the pistol slot. Don't quote me on that. Okay. Pistol slot is the high capacity tank, can be used two additional times. Oh. And then the equipment slot would be the one additional time. Now I kind of think, like, I value <laughs> these slots way more than this slot. That this is the better secondary thing. I guess for most other classes, you don't easily give up on the secondary weapon. But Quartermaster, oh no, oh no, my pistol slots. Oh. Okay, this is fine. Alright, back to mission planning of this mission down here. Setting course for the Australian sector. Commander, it would appear the aliens have sent a particularly nasty group of creatures into this area. Nasty group even of creatures. Barely controlled them. I would strongly advise caution. Commander Tigan and Shen aren't going to be happy if we don't put the Skulljack to good use. We should have one of our soldiers equip it before they deploy. You still don't have trouble fire, so we're not, not going to be able to trouble fire people here.
but we can still kind of diversify our assets here and bring some of the not max max rank folks. Especially like you two to get higher ranks. But let's see who else. Gunner should get some stuff. Oh, let's bring the Beleaguer because, you know, he doesn't share items with every, anyone, so I know he has good items available. Then, yeah, maybe, maybe Cannon Class. Right, um, let's get you some stuff. You want mostly a good arc thrower, a decent enough rifle, and some ammo to stay alive. Hmm. Let's bring a medkit here. Ah, oh, you're so slow. What are we doing even? Revealed start VIP extraction. We do have concealed scouting here. And we can probably take advantage of that information by launching then a bunch of grenades on people. Okay, mech cannon is available. I don't think we have any more good armor. So the question is, do we build any? Yeah, I think we definitely can, can afford two more predator armors. Brings us up to 15. This is probably going to be like, like when I see light footed on an XCOM ability row, I'm always like, yep, yeah, yeah that, that's what we're getting. Uh, thousands to go might also be an option now. I do like my mobility though very, very much. Yeah, that's probably going to be the thing. Um, one of the two. Mr. Mutant Friends could get resilience. Could probably get Shredder at some point. Do have to worry about Shredder enemies? No, we do have Blue Spin Shockwave to deal with any mechanical threats. We have grenades to shred. And we have okay. Ranger deploy. Squad green to deploy. Yeah, and that was the supply rate. Increasing strength now to free, which is still like if strength free um, network tower is going to be still fairly easy, and the neutralized target is going to be also somewhat good. Okay. Um, I think New Mexico is our target to scan in because it does have vigilance 9. Setting course for Sector 8, Mexico. So there's a good chance we have some incoming supply rates, UFOs, or any kind of other crap coming in there. And we want to detect that. Alright, that puts this neutralized target at 100%. It's 13 to 15 then. 
and we're trying to get some free promotions here. Okay, this is um, not a 13 to 15 squad. So let's over infiltrate that a little bit. More travel fire. And there is a data tap mission. One day, three hours. Okay, we're gonna scan a little bit more. We have like. I always like to look at points where my scanning automatically stops, so I'm not gonna miss the mission. So we got the. Teamwork training coming up, we've got the power coil coming up. Also means we now have two engineers with nothing to do, but one of them is going to go into our liberated region soon. That also gives us, yeah, good thing I didn't buy the crystals. All right. Okay, bond training complete. You ticked down to vulnerable, so it's 10 to 12 enemies, which is still going to be, you know. It's not incredibly easy, but I think a skirmisher with a coil weapon should be able to, to do a lot of stuff here. And we've got the coil short here on the Titan. So, yeah, let's do a... what are we even doing here? Neutralize target, another VIP capture. Get a bunch of intel, intel package, and then get ready for... who's that? Chosen... Assassin. Well, that's gonna be fun, but we'll do this mission in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Let's see you next time.